I am 7 Weather Meteorologist Josh Nichols with this week's edition of Josh's Weather Academy, a segment where I take some of your weather questions and take a deeper dive into all of Western New York's weather wise. It's summer, so that means a lot of us think about going to the beach and our oceanfront beaches, as we know, have tides. But did you ever wonder if our own Great Lakes in our backyard have tides? The answer may surprise you. If you've ever traveled to the coast to spend time by the ocean, you know that there's a low tide and a high tide at the beach. The tides are very predictable and are caused by the gravitational forces of the moon and the earth, as well as the earth and moon's orbit around each other. Which begs the question, can the same forces cause tides on the Great Lakes? The answer is sort of. Studies show that a tide, by definition, does occur twice a day on the Great Lakes, but they're so inconsequential that at their highest, they are less than five centimeters in height. These minor variations are masked by the greater fluctuations in lake levels produced by wind and barometric pressure changes. Wind and weather conditions on the Great Lakes may create a seiche, an oscillating wave, which can be several feet high. In many of the Great Lakes, the time period between the high and low of a seiche may be between four and seven hours. As this is very similar to the six-hour time period of the tides on the ocean, it's frequently mistaken for a tide. So while our lakes are great, compared to the planet's oceans, they're comparatively much smaller. That's why scientists consider our Great Lakes non-tidal. And now you know that most of the water fluctuations on the Great Lakes are mainly meteorological. Got a weather question that you'd like answered? Email me at weather at wkbw.com. And your weather question could be the subject of my next Josh's Weather Academy. I'm 7 Weather Meteorologist Josh Nichols. Stay weather-wise.